Welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial in Adobe Illustrator CC. I'm feeling festive, so this is a Christmas bauble. Um, lots of different methods to do this, but this is how I'm doing them. So if you want to follow along, get yourself an artboard. Um, I've got a gradiated background. It goes from CMYK value is 10, 100, 100, 0, and the light red and the darker red, 30, 100, 145 and it's just a gradient from top to bottom. So if you want to do that in the background, press Command 2 so it's locked, and we'll leave this fella over there for reference. So let's start with a circle. So underneath the rectangle tool is the ellipse tool. Click and drag, holding Control and Alt, so you get a nice big circle, and it's filled it with the gradient that we've just used for the background, which is fine. We're going to get rid of that gradient so click none on the fill color, go to your stroke color there and just hit white. Now my artboard's pretty big so one pixel doesn't get as much so I'm going to bump that up to about 25. Now using the width tool which could be hidden under the warp tool or something like that, you're going to select the width tool and go to this bottom anchor point here and just drag it out a little bit. There you go. Now I'm going to select that and command 2 so that's locked, it's going nowhere. Now we're going to create one of these spirals. So under the line tool is probably going to be the spiral tool here. It's a bit of a funny one to get started with, but if you click and drag, you can rotate it round. You can hold command, which changes the way it spirals in. And then you can do the up and down cursors, which does the distance it spirals in. So you, it's very sensitive, so you want to get something that looks a bit like that, and then let go. And again, let's bump up the weight on the stroke to 13 or so. So, when you've got that selected, under your stroke options, you might need to view more options. So there's a profile, and it says uniform. So if you click it, there's different profiles that do different things. Now this one profile width with profile 5 is a pretty good one so let's select that let's go back up to the width tool go to the end anchor point let's zoom in pull that out a bit pull this out a bit and the cap needs to be a round cap and then let's change this back to width profile 5. There we go. So I did it backwards. We should have done the width tool first, but that's fine. So something thin to thick to thin again. Thin to thick to thin again, that's fine. Now click this and go up to Object and Expand Appearance. That's great. So now we've got an object there. Go back to the Spiral tool. And what we're trying to do now is create a spiral that's going to work inside this one so it takes a bit of messing around oh, changing the cursor keys spinning it around hold the space bar if you want to move it in but eventually get somewhere. Takes a little bit. Let's go with that one. Just keep tweaking, keep tweaking. And whoop, there. Okay. And let's do a white stroke. Now, this is a cool bit. Let me drag that down a bit. We're going to create dots. I'm going to create these spiral dots that goes around. So rather than having to draw different sized dots and stuff, we're going to use a white stroke and 
you're going to hit dashed lines. All right. So change your weight, put your weight up so you can see some dashes. There we go. Now change your cap to rounded cap. Now my first dash is zero pixels, which makes me a circle. Gap, I want to just keep going until I'm happy with it. I'm not going to do exactly the same one as I've done over on the other side, but there or thereabouts. So that's great. Now you'll notice they're all the same size. So cleverly, you can use the width tool and go to the end and drag this out so they get bigger as they come out. Now we'll go to about there. Then you just change your gap, keep going up and up and up and up and up until you're happy with what you get. That might be a bit too big for us. There we go, bring that down. Let's put that gap down. We want more of them. Bring that down a bit more. Wait, there we go. Okay. So we don't need this end here. So we're going to object expand and we're going to direct select all this stuff. We don't need any of that. We just really need it coming out of the spiral. We can move these by hand, just the last ones, to get it exactly where we want. But about that is great. Move these internal ones. But this process is saved as drawing all these by hand. Let's put one on the end. So now select everything and command G. So this process then starts by trying to align this curve to the outside curve. So you can deselect, you can see that curve keeps going. It's nice and smooth. And if you command and click and drag, oh, we need to do all of it. Command, click and drag, you'll copy it. You can reflect it vertically so you get a bit of variation spinning around getting my line to that top line there and then basically you just keep going until it's filled in so time for a bit of time lapse <laughs> And there we go. So as if by magic, it's all filled in and we're nearly there. We've got a few stars. So if you want to go to the ellipse tool, draw a star, click shift and alt and drag out. And then you can place this star here and there. It's flipping around so he doesn't look so straight. And anywhere you've got a little gap, we can put some stars in, rotate them around so they look a bit more random. Change their size so they keep looking random. And keep going around. So there's lots of different patterns you can use, but using the spiral tool and using the dots in that way will get you a pretty good result. There we go, that'll do. These little circular dots over here are just done in the same way as a spiral. Once you've made something you're happy with, you can just use the eyedropper tool to click it and copy it. And this little thing over here aligns dashes to corners 
will give you an even spread of circles around rather than starting a half one or something like that. To do the chain at the top is fairly simple. It literally is a circle, use a square, flip it on its side, hold shift so it rotates 45 degrees, shrink it down a bit. there and then to another one holding alt and shift Ooh. size that down alt and shift again and then a little shortcut for you is drag your cursor over everything and alt shift drag down to about there and then just command zoom out so you can see this then just command d and it will copy and paste and redo that last movement. So just keep pressing Command D a ton of times. And then you can select all those, Command G to group them together, shrink them down a bit. We'll flip that because there's a circle at the end. Get to the middle of your um, bauble. Get that aligned. You can make that one a bit bigger as it's the connecting one. And that is how to make Christmas baubles in Illustrator. Ooh. Once you've got them, you can group them together, resize them, Command G and then V, drag, resize, drag, Command V and resize. And then select those three, command G, group, get rid of you now, and change them about the size, choose the colors. Let's expand everything over there. Object to expand, change the colors to red. Do some over here, shrink these down, make them a yellowy gold color. And there you go. Before long, you'll be feeling festive and uh, making some money from this. If this was helpful, please like or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.